It's a cold early morning in Bowles Gap. And my wife's way down there getting ready to leave. Twenty twenty three Pinoti Trail Hike. Let's do it again. Maybe you can see that. That's the uh, Horn Mountain Fire Tower up on top of the hill here. Good afternoon, everyone. Right back up in there is the fire tower. You probably can't see it. See the front camera view. But uh, anyway, I'll come back down to the Pinoti to Bulls Gap. And I'll see how close to Georgia I can get. Hopefully nothing will swell up or the weather won't run me off. I had to carry a winter load. I've had this puffy on all morning. It was right at freezing. It's above that now, but still the wind is pushing through it pretty good. I could put a raincoat on, I guess, and it would work. But I'm not sweating in it that I can tell, so. Oh, nice view back there. Yeah, not so much on the phone, but it is to me. I get further down the trail. Aglama Lake. I guess that's how you say it. Somebody's put up a trail cam. Looks like they have had a controlled burn out here. On the other side. Or maybe it was uncontrolled, I don't know. Good morning. Start of day two. <clears throat> this is my beautiful campsite along the creek near Jugglama Lake, Chagalama Lake, however you say it. And I'm tent camping. Uh, a lot of that was due to the wind yesterday, and it was pretty windy last night. That little thing right there, little beer can coffee mug, worked great this morning warming my hands. And I had a Starbucks via. Love this little tent. I've had it for a long time. It's the first time I actually slept in it. 
I got into hammock camping. I'm kind of out of tent camping. But uh, I slept good in it. It's real roomy. It's like maybe a one and a half man tent. I gotta pack up and get out of here. Water's higher than I've seen it before here. I'll have to cross carefully. Maybe down there. Usually I can just step right over that rock and go right over. The lake's right up there. It didn't come over my boots, but it was close. Got uh, some Gore-Tex boots on today. In the summer I wear trail runners, but in the winter or colder weather. trash out in here. In the winter I wear Gore-Tex. Met a real nice lady from the Anodi outdoor trail thing. Volunteer. Found out the trail cam I passed belongs to them. And there is the lake. Porter's Gap is uh, right there. And according to this, I come three and a half miles. It's called Scott's Lake here. On the map, it says Jogalama Lake. That Horn Mountain Shelter, as far as I know, doesn't exist. Leaving Porter's Gap, I had some lunch there. Well, a late breakfast, really. And, uh, Adam's Gap is a long ways off. Somebody uh, left 10 gallons of water there. They've got a water cache here now under the kiosk. It looks like somebody has camped there once or twice. And up we go. Campsite for tonight. I'm back in Chia Hall Wilderness. You can see it behind me. It's cold. It was 23 degrees this morning. Ground's froze solid. I'm froze solid. Onward and upward. Going over there. And I come from way back there. Coming out the north end of the Chiha Wilderness. And it's rocky still, but somebody has cut a lot of limbs and trees and stuff down out of the way. I think I saw one new blaze in there. Uh, it looked new, but a lot of it still, it's hard to tell where the trail is. 
still gnarly but much better kind of gnarly this way too it's rocky looks like pennsylvania almost Talladega mountain is right up there and uh this is where i'm camping tonight i'm about i think two miles or less from the hotel such a beautiful spot i couldn't turn it down would have a good view but it's pretty smoky down there there's some fires i guess wildfires off in the distance Blue Mountain Shelter is right down there. And I left the hotel. I stayed there all day yesterday through last night. I hiked maybe 2.6 yesterday. I can't remember. And I didn't get much sleep that night at all. So I went into the hotel, rested up, did laundry. Uh, got a couple more days of food. I was running low on food. And uh, I'm going right down through there. Target practice. <laughs> Crossing I-20, 2023. Lower 
show shelter. Looks like it got a new roof. Pine Glen Campground back there. Nice lady cooked my breakfast for me. Burns Trailhead is right back there in the Pinoti Trail, which I've been on for quite a few days. And I'm on a blue, kind of, I don't know if you call it a bypass or not. Uh, it's on the uh, app, and I've never been this way, so I thought I'd take it until it joins back with the Pinoti. Looks like an old road bed so far. It's pretty nice. That's where I come from. This is a uh, Fairly enjoyable trail up through here. As you can see, it's an old road bed. It's mostly graded. I saw one campsite that looked like it hadn't been used in ages. Plenty of places to camp if you wanted to. Lots of little waterfalls. Uh, it looks like it'd be fairly brushy in the summer, though. I don't know why they didn't run the Pinoti through here originally. It's quite beautiful through here. Got a few trees down, but get around it quite easily. It rained hard last night, and I got a feeling there's plenty of water here year round. Looks like there was an old gate here at one time. I think there's supposed to be some old ruins up in there somewhere. But I'm not going up there. Going this way. About a, probably a mile from where it joins a Pinoti. Just guessing. There's definitely another road that Right up there used to be a road that runs around. As you get closer to the Pinoti, the uh, trail just turns to fallen trees. And you waste a lot of time getting through them and around them. Maybe it gets better right up here. So oh, I just joined the Pinoti again. Right here, a nice little campsite. A little bit of an incline. 
there were a lot of trees down right at the end of that. Uh, one place, somebody maybe had used a small saw and cut their way through, made a little tunnel under one piles. And let's see, in the summer, you're gonna be rubbing briars and bushes the entire way. But most of it was quite pleasant, at least today. The uh, creek down there gradually turns into springs and I uh, got some water right at one of the last springs and if you're here on the Pinotia, it's not far down there to water where it joins back in. But that's south. And that's north. 